Hello everybody and welcome to eSync. In this video we're gonna show you how to connect your eBay store, how to set up your Amazon fulfillment account, how to repricing your items and of course how to upload your first list. So let's dive in. So here we have to choose our eBay store. We have all the marketplaces of eBay. Uh, in my example, I'm gonna choose eBay Canada. Gonna click here. We have to fill here our email and uh, password. Let's just sign in. We have to agree. We have to put here our PayPal account, in my example, this one. Please confirm. Right after we connect our eBay store, let's set up our repricing. So click here in store settings, repricing, make sure it's enabled and select your source market. In our example, it's Amazon Canada. Well, all the functions here is by default, but let's change some. Quantity in stock. It means always when we upload an item, how much we want in stock. In my example, I'm gonna put two. Shipping time, shipping method, and handling days. It's about your eBay policy. I'm gonna leave it by default. I'm gonna click on allow prime only as I want to sell only prime items. Condition new. And here we have the range repricer. How much we want to gain from this particular store. In my example, I'm gonna put here 20%. And if I want additional profit from each sale, I'm gonna put here $1 or five. But in my example, I'm gonna leave it zero. Async allow you to calculate your additional fees. As we can see here, Async auto ordering fees, PayPal fees, and eBay fees. But right now I'm gonna leave it by default. Round prices, which I highly recommend to enable it. And as you can see, every item that we're gonna upload, Async gonna round the price. Location settings, in our example, we locate our items in Canada, so I'm gonna choose here Canada, Toronto, or any other city in Canada, and postal code if you have it. This thing also allow you to calculate your watt. If you have watt, you can enable it and put your percent of watt. Make sure you save it. Right after we have to create our Amazon fulfillment account. So click on settings, fulfillment accounts, add fulfillment account. Choose your platform. In our example, it's Amazon Canada. And we have to uh, fill out everything as we re register on Amazon. In my example, this one, the password, the billing address as you register in Amazon. The first name and the last name. Your full address. Your country. Of course, the zip code and the phone number. The payment information, if you're using uh, gift cards, so leave it by this, enable. But if you're using a credit card, so fill out everything here as you put in your Amazon. But in my example, I'm gonna leave it just a gift card balance. The security question, you have to 
put your phone number the last four digit codes uh, expire date the months of your credit card and the year the full name one more time here we go and now let's continue and we have to set up also our email forwarding so kindly just copy this email address in the second section go to your email click on settings here you can see uh, forwarding and uh, pop imap add forwarding address we're gonna copy and paste the email that we choose and here we have to process the verification add forwarding address and we're gonna accept it okay once we click ok we should receive verification email with the passcode confirmation code we just copy from the email that we receive it and verify once we verified it we're gonna forward a copy enable the pop download and also the imap save changing and you should uh, see some message in your Gmail that all the emails is forwarded to this uh, email address. And now let's go to our email forward and can check the status. To check if everything is uh, correct, we're gonna back to fulfillment accounts and you should see your fulfillment account is verified. Now we can enable our auto ordering by clicking on store settings, automatic ordering. Make sure you enable it. Save automatic ordering settings. And here we go. Finally, we can upload our first item to our eBay store by create listings, source market, in our example, it's <clears throat> Amazon Canada. We can take some. We can take some asin. Back here in the product ID. Right now, I'm gonna choose only single uh, listing, but you can choose also from your CSV file if you're working with uh, Google Sheets and prepare your items so here is the example how to do it just choose the file and upload your file <clears throat> but right now we're gonna um, just use a single listing create listings and easing right now is verifying your final price based on what you what we set up on the repricing and now we have to approve it you can choose by here if you have more than one item you can approve them all but right now we have just uh, one item and click on approve and the item should add to your store Thanks for watching this video. If you have more questions, please contact us here in the right corner. Our customer support will be more than happy to help you in any question. Bye bye and see you in the next videos.